So you talk about collaboration. What if a collaboration is not working? What if it is unbalanced? What is the best way for all of the collaborators to handle that? You mean, like if you have, if you have a film set and you have one person that's disruptive or? Not so much. I mean, just like, you know, we're all in this to collaborate because we're all now these multi-hyphenates right. with the advent of crowdfunding and DSLR cameras and stuff. So we can all kind of do this project on our own, but we need the help of others. So you're in a collaboration and the collaboration is unbalanced. It's not necessarily on the film set. It mm -hmm. could be everybody has their role. Yeah. And how does someone handle that amicably? Oh, I said the word, amicably. Uh, well, I, I think, <laughs> you know, I would imagine that in that particular situation, there's going to be somebody that's going to be in charge. And I think that that person needs to be able to take the temperature of what's going on. And, um, you know, I think it speaks to what I said earlier about the fact that there's more competition than ever. So if there is somebody, everybody's expendable. I mean, that's the bottom line. Everybody's expendable. I mean, I've seen people fired off of shoots three quarters of the way through it. I mean, a little tougher with actors, but I've seen, you know, really quality DPs get knocked off, you know, 75% of the way through it because he's being a disruptive force or he thinks that he, you know, he wants to override the director or whatever. Um, it's, it's tougher than ever. It's, it's funny. There's more competition than ever right now because the barrier of entry to making a film and to, and you know the the amount the proliferation of places where you could distribute a film the barrier of entry has gone down the distribution channels have gone up that means more people rushing into the arena you know saying I can do this I can do this I can do this okay that's good and bad the good the bad is there's so much noise okay but the the, the good is that you could rise above that noise very, very easy, okay? Profe being professional, putting your best foot forward, being a true collaborator on and off the set, okay? Assisting people, showing your best face online, you know, like we said earlier, filling out your profile online if you're gonna do that kind of thing, okay? Every one of these things gives you another percentage advantage. You know, it could be 5%, 10%, 15% over what other people aren't doing, you know? So to me, you know, if you're going to have somebody that is going to be a disruptive force or somebody that is throwing off the balance of things, you know, I, I think you try to address it and you give somebody the benefit of the doubt and see if there's some sort of underlying circumstance that's causing that person to be off kilter. Um, but if it ends up just being a personality dispute of some sort, man, the pool is filled with people that could replace that person. How do you sever it? Well, I think you got to be honest. I mean, I think everything comes down to honesty in this life. I think you just have to be honest with the person and, you know, say it's not working. I mean, I just think that, like we said earlier when we were talking about screenwriting, if you're not getting honesty, then you're getting, you know, all you're doing is setting a person back. You know, if you're not, if you're just telling people good things and you're not being honest, how does that person grow? How do you grow? So I think it's, I think everything in life comes down to honesty. And so going separate ways and probably just not speaking your truth to other people about it because then that might poison it for another person. You know, there's a lot of talk in this town and sometimes people take sides. Yeah, well, I think, well, when it comes to Hollywood, I think you need to be the ultimate diplomat. I mean, I just think it's the way it is. Nobody wants to burn a bridge in this town because, you know, it's been said a million times before, the person that's in the mailroom today could be running the studio tomorrow and it's not unprecedented. Um, I just think that if you handle yourself in a professional manner, and you handle yourself in a collaborative manner. And, you know, that second part is difficult for some people because we do a lot of work in isolation. You know, writers, filmmakers, even actors running lines, with them, you know, learning their, learning their uh, lines. Um, but if you embrace a true collaborative spirit, you're not going to get yourself in trouble in this business. You're not going to find yourself in those situations very often, or you shouldn't. And if you do consistently find yourself in those positions, then I think you need to look in the mirror. What about if, one force seems to be overriding the force too much and one personality is too strong. How do you know the balance is right? Well, I think everybody's opinion matters. I think healthy debate, you know, is always great. If somebody is unwilling to yield their position at a certain point, I think that that's just another thing that needs to be addressed. I mean, I just think that, um, again, you know, we, this is a collaborative business. 
and we all, you know, great films, even great theater, you know, it, it happens because everybody pulls in the same direction. And, you know, it's very, very rare that something comes together that's great where there's been controversy or conflict throughout. So if the person that's being headstrong can't yield, then, like I said, pull somebody else out of the pool. Speaking of Coppola, what does he say? Um, everything you build with great passion invites chaos. Well, that's true too, but I think it, I think it invites chaos within mm -hmm. more than I think it's internal chaos. Mm -hmm. I think you know, I mean Coppola. I love Coppola, you know, and he talks a ton about the the internal challenge of the artist and the creator, and. I think that that's more of what he's talking about. I think that we create a lot of chaos for ourselves. And I think we create a lot of chaos for ourselves, you know, doubt, fear. I mean, it's prevalent always. I don't care who you are. There's always, you know, anxiety. Um, but, you know, you deal with it the best you can and you don't put it out onto somebody else. You don't, you know, uh, transfer it, you know.